is uh, Presby Environmental Sand uh, System Sand Spec Check, and uh, we're, we're beginning with one cup sand. of sand. Sand goes into the center. And you're checking for? Make sure it's sealed. Oh, okay. And I'll be placing the spoon back into the canister. I'll add two cups of water. I will now seal the container and agitate vigorously for two and a half minutes. It's gonna and two minutes thirty seconds. I'm going to open this container. I'm going to hold it there. Yeah. Open out a container while holding while holding the, the filter packet in there. I'm going to pour the water it's and silt and silt into the container. Where's it coming from? Probably draining from the sand. Sure. Looks like you got it. Okay. The container. Wait. Shake for an additional 15 minutes. 15 seconds. Okay. And that is 15. Back from the container and set it aside. Adding a small amount of water to the container to get the residuals. Sediment. The sediment off the bottom of the. And I will be. Then adding that to the settling container. We're going to wait five minutes to examine what is settled in the settling container. Okay, what we're determining here by looking at the first order of settling is that with the level of sand uh, and grit being down here as opposed to above the black line. The black line indicates 2% um, fines. The red line is 5%. Uh, to be system sand, uh, the fines need to be lower than 2%. And as you can see, our sample uh, passes uh, handily. I'm going to be opening up and removing the outer and second screen, the 200 and 170 screen from the pack. Hopefully. And 
that I want to put the cap back on. Seal the system with the... And what we're going to do is determine the next level of particulate size in the sand. So basically we're going to go back to earlier steps in the test where two cups of water will be added. The spec check will be sealed up and then agitated for two to two and a half minutes. Okay, that's that's two and a half minutes of agitation. Okay, now I'm going to remove the center screen from the container. Take the and we're going to dunk the remaining screen, that number 30 screen, and its sand contents in water several times, but not over the top of the rim of the screen. So does that mean I, has to, I had to lift off the top of it? Yeah. But you're not going to go over the top right. of the rim with the water. This is just to level the, the top edge of the sand. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, we just want to level that. It ain't going to be two inches, I can tell right now. Yeah, I know. What we want to do is get this sand pretty level. Yeah. Okay, and if I'll, I was a little shaking. Okay, so now with that, <coughs> um, let's see. Can we set the sand? Can we set that container inside the cup or something so the water won't go everywhere? No, I guess oh, that'll be okay. There's looks like it will contain the water in itself. Okay. The next step is that we're going to measure the distance between the top edge. This is to determine if there's the appropriate amount of coarse uh, granules in this. So we're measuring... It's too coarse. This particular sand grade is too coarse. What we have is approximately one and one-eighth inches uh, from the top edge to the sand. We were looking for um, a, level a two minimum to of two to, uh, two to four inches. So we have a we have a, a system fail a sand fail here. Um, that's the uh, Presby environmental spec check. Um, hopefully the next batch we do will be uh, will be a pass. All right. Um, PresbyEnvironmental.com www.tgrankin.com. Um, send your sand to us. We'll be happy to test it.